Don't look, you won't cry. Is that what was going on back there? <laughs> they actually were in the bride and groom suite. Uh, no one knew about that. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. What part of Florida? Tampa. Tampa, Florida area, folks. Give them a nice round of applause. Come all over here for the good friends. Well, you know something? I exercise three times a week, and Dennis is about to kill me tonight. He's been everywhere. I, everywhere he was, I was trying to not be, and he was just, he kept flying back and kissing us. He kept back there and he goes, uh, so I'm saying something to you, right behind me. It's about to the whole thing. But Dennis, I just want to say a few things. I'm just very short, because I'm short minded anyway. But uh, Dennis is a dear, dear friend. Has been for many, many years. In the scene by Lori and my wife worked with her. And I worked on Dennis's dream car when he got out of college, the Trans Am. And so he's 72, the Corvette? No, 74. Okay, I've forgotten. But anyway, Dennis is a very, very smart man, very talented man, because he always listens to what Sue says. <laughs> That's why they've got along so good, you know. But Dennis is just, there's no, no more of a peach of a guy than that. He would do anything for you, anytime, anyplace. He even tried to deliver fuel to me in Florida. <laughs> uh, Dennis is just, uh, and they couldn't be a better man to this too. They've traveled all over the world and had a great time. And, uh, I hope uh, we have many, many more. Uh, we'll be close to me now. So maybe we'll get about a few more dinners. <laughs> but it was fun trying to hide from him. We was over here at this table, we were running around all over. And, Mike over here said, he's right behind you, he's right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was over here, he was out there, I was in the, I was in the 40, we come out there and I ran over here and she let us in this door. We're back here and yeah. there was a poker game going on. Boy, <laughs> 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 well, he about caught us, he about blue. All right, Dennis, uh, great retirement, man, I'll tell you, this is a great bunch of people. I couldn't talk all of you. Look, look how many friends this man has made. I heard there was some lady that was here was even uh, brought to tears because you weren't going to be delivering her fuel anymore. That tells you what kind of person he is. Yeah, that's a fact. So Dennis, great. Have a great retirement. See you, see you all soon. Little disturbing. Hey, next up on the dais is Tracy Newman. Where are you at, Tracy? Tracy? Oh, you won the prize. That's cool. You cheated. You cheated. Oh, that's right. He has good ears. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's your cousin. Your cousin's up here, okay? Let's give Tracy a round of applause, everyone. Danny called me up here the other day and he said that uh, you didn't send in how many people you bring. And I go, I didn't. I said, that's what she does. And she, I just put down 30. I go, I go to the bank. <laughs> then all of a sudden I get a call from Florida. I said, well, I better take this. I didn't answer it first. And it was Sue. I figured, oh boy, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Sue got a hold of that. And then they asked me to speak. I said, man, I never speak nothing in my life, but I guess I will for Danny. But anyway, I don't know if Danny can retire or not. Because my, my dad got passed away a few years back, but he had Denny for me and Kim and my brother. Uh, he was supposed to take care of us when anything happened to my parents. So I don't know, Danny. You got to take care of me now. <laughs> so yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, Denny's been a really good, really good cousin. The biggest thing is I used to call for fuel and he says I could be two days for I to hit it. And I said, okay, that'd be fine. Two hours he was there. <laughs> That's just the kind of guy he was. He's probably one of my best friends and just a super guy. Thank you, Denny. Great time. I, I got nothing to really say about you that's funny because I just think your ears are wonderful. And speaking of the people that spilled it to you, Becky, Becky, where are you at? Yeah, these two. Come on up here. These are the sisters. And uh, is that me? Do I have a call? 
Can you, can you tell the insurance lady I already got it? No, no one else gets rumble calls, just me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here come the sisters, give them a nice round of applause. Here's Becky and Becky.
Mom has now left you in charge of those two silly girls. <laughs> Yes, that's right. We have many girls in that's right. That's a great job. You know, she mentioned the villages in three and a half years when I turned 65. I plan to be a DJ down there. <laughs> Can you imagine that? That's going to hurt some people. All right. Well, let's see. Before we talk to the old boss, it's time to talk to the new boss. Here's Sue. <laughs> yeah, we're around. Find that hard to believe that he does have a wife. I know back in 1994, when Dennis and I first started doing our Ohio Florida living, a lot of you said, Oh, that's not going to work. They're going to get a divorce. Well, 41 years later, we are still married and we're still together. But now I hear there's a new rumor out there. And that rumor is, Oh, now they're going to get a divorce. So much. So if we get on each other's nerves, I have a plan. And that plan is I'm just going to buy Dennis one of those little tiny houses and put him in the backyard. <laughs>
Do you have any flaming gold fish? Yes. <laughs> For Sue to flamingo goad you into taking care of her honeydew list. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um. What do you have planned for your flamingo golden years? Oh, I'd like to go to Australia, New Zealand. Oh, you better go somewhere where there's lots of flamingos. <laughs> I don't think you're already in Australia. That's a long way to go to get away with from flamingos. Alright, you go there next. See my relatives? <laughs> Congratulations. There you go. Now? Who is it? You're not going to tell us who you are?
Somos 